I think we stayed here for about uh, three months. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Na tuko tumeseli ni kufanyika. Mm-hmm. Every day unakuja, mm-hmm. ukinafungua, unatoa vitu zako nje. Mm-hmm. Hakuna kitu unafanya. Basically hakuna kitu unafanya. Juo una order so mm-hmm. anything. We don't have the capital to buy materials to bring other stuff more than this way. Mm-hmm. Unakuja I had I think I had two pallet seats. I don't want to be stuck. Kwa najua nakuja na toa nje na keti hapo na chill zone na fika na funga naenda. But the story ndio unasikia kama Mm. Iki tumanzita waka uta, hakuna yeah. jani ende, unosikia kama uta kuit, but mm-hmm. nilienza kutengeleza staff from kijani kwenye nikuwa naka mm-hmm. So like, eh, nafanya like a couple of seats, na post online, mm-hmm. kwa clients, na sell, mm-hmm. just like that, paka eventually tuka, tuka open an workshop mm-hmm. Na pia workshop wa tuka open, just a workshop, ikatupa, just a big workshop, mm-hmm. tulienza ya tuna like a uh, few staff, tulienza I think na two pallets yeah? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many people have you been able to employ? Mm, so like uh, I have a uh, have about four when you are permanent yeah? mm-hmm. but uh, it depends on the kind of work you have yeah? mm-hmm. una siku utapata kwa na order so you need to source out mm-hmm. una jona kuna ingia so unapata mm-hmm. una siku utakuwa na four kuna siku utapata kwa na sita mm-hmm. mm-hmm. na hivyo hivyo na depend on the kind of job you have mm-hmm. yeah. ah that's nice and so kuna opportunities more book in them mm-hmm. yenye zambia jana mm-hmm. ni na chiki maybe kila mtu anapanga na ile idea yake yes. na mtu anapanga na ile idea yake ati mimi mm. ningekuwa na don ngefanya hii stuff ningekuwa hii yes. business ningefanya hii mm. but kenye naweza kuambia na chiki idea yako hiyo idea yako ndio capital yako <coughs> Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing so well. Uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel and definitely this is a place where you get inspirational stories. Uh, so in today's video we have another interesting story. Eh ni mwana biashara na I want us to have a conversation with you. But before we go into the conversation nataka uje introduce tuambie wewe ufanya nini. Okay, my name is Dennis. Eh mimi na chapaso ya Elana workshop. Eh tunafanya stuff za food work mostly na dena pallet stuff. Okay. Yeah. So do you have like a company am I you doing it uh, how do you do it? Mm, for now we learn a workshop. A workshop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a business. Yeah. Eh? business. All right, all right. So uh, we are doing inspirational stories of uh, uh, what we uh, like, especially the young people, uh, what we want their place. Yeah. I just want to know your background. Mm-hmm. You live. You have a workshop or you have a journey? Uh, it has been a journey. Mm-hmm. So the workshop has been a lot of people. We have to do stuff for me kijani kwenye nilikuwa na car mm-hmm. so like uh, nafanya like a couple of seats na post online na mm-hmm. clients na sell mm-hmm. just like that paka eventually tuka tuka open an workshop na pia workshop at tuko open just a workshop ika kwa just a big workshop mm-hmm. tulianza tuna like uh, few staffs tulianza i think na two pallets yeah mm-hmm. tunatoa nje just to sell the idea mm-hmm. although atukua na atukua na like stock kubwa ya pallet atupata na pallet themselves but mm-hmm. we had just two seats of pallet mm-hmm. tuko tunatoa to sell the idea to the people wana wanaelewa mm-hmm. stuff za pallet and what to do mm-hmm. Uh, it's been a journey na paka tuka 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 Alright yeah. So how many years are you doing this? Yeah, this is my second year Second year? Yeah uh, Let me ask you a question Because mm. uh, when I look at uh, ile kazi unafanya yeah. uh, Maybe my assumption would be mm. uh, Kuna mahali kuna mtu walikupatia like a boost <laughs> Because I've been big, nime kukupa biyashara yeah. <laughs> Nimejadibu kufanya biyashara, I have had uh, several startups mm. And I can tell you it's not easy yeah. Especially uh, when you want to raise capital to fund your idea. Mm. So how was it for you? Uh, so I have a partner. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, when you mm. the, the initial capital was <laughs> mm-hmm. sana. Mm-hmm. We started with that just at the one of the tools themselves, at mm-hmm. one of these machines or what have you. Mm-hmm. Then send the basic tools like mm-hmm. the nyundo, mm-hmm. the msumeno, mm-hmm. those are the stuff to learn the anganazo. Mm-hmm. But when you unapata ukipata nini when you make a sale mm. unarudishia cash kwa mm-hmm. kwa bidhaa yeah? mm-hmm. una nuno machine moja unaenda ukibuy uh, actually hakuna mtu alikufia boost or anything because mm-hmm. bina tukipata like when we get a kupata job moja mm-hmm. una locate this uh, cash you unatoa from that job ya yeah? mm-hmm. locate to, to mm-hmm. grow the business mm-hmm. the, the key is the key the key thing that I would bring the business no na mm-hmm. 
cash flow yenu unapata una kurudisha kwa business hivyo 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 mpaka at least the business inaanza ku grow yenyewe i think for the like for the past year that tukot deliver you see so cash yote tukot mapata tukot kurudisha kwa business kwa kurudisha kwa business mpaka business yenu kwa sustainable i know size you're not where you started eh? yeah, yeah. but i want to know eh, if you are either business mm. or what if uh, peter miyako pidi umefanya biashara yeah. and maybe even before mm. what has been your lowest moment mm-hmm. the lowest moment which you can see when we are starting yeah? mm-hmm. i think we stayed here for about 3 uh, months yeah? mm-hmm. na tuko tumeselling mm-hmm. furniture mm-hmm. every day unakuja mm-hmm. ukinafungua unatoa mm-hmm. bits zako nje mm-hmm. Hakuna kitu unafanya basically hakuna kitu unafanya juu au una order or anything you don't have the capital to buy materials to kutengeneza stuff more than this free unakujua i had i think i had to pallet sit i don't think this time kwa najua nakuja na toa nje na keti hapo na chill zone nafika na funga naenda but the following day unasikia kama hii kitu manzita work out hakuna jani ende unasikia kama utakuit but una keep on as in tu kuna ile unaona the idea ni za wako unaona maybe kuna mtu mmoja atakuja buy idea yako just like that mm. you yeah. work out mm. so i think that was the rarest moment for this but when it picked i think mm. Mm. Uh, and since now na you are young person like i am eh na najua uliko umetoka college before ufanye hiyo job yeah actually tulifungwa hapa with my colleague eh tulifungwa hapa tukiwa for the year Mm-hmm. Itemi ya covid yeah? mm-hmm. so the classes were online mm-hmm. so unapata uko na classes like two days in a week mm-hmm. these are days uko 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 tu hivyo tu hakuna mm-hmm. kuna fanya itemi ya covid hakuna ofisi mm-hmm. naenda yes. so nilijipata niko kwa nyumba most of the time mm-hmm. so nikatafuta kitu kufanyanga so actually tukaanzia na just the, pal- the furniture mm-hmm. stuff tulianza pia na art mm-hmm. so i was doing art pieces kwa nyumba mm-hmm. na sell online mm-hmm. na nikaona bidii ya sell yeah? mm-hmm. so but tunapata wasi wanakuuliza uko na workshop mm. you have a workshop you have a physical shop and you can go check it mm. so nuko na bele there's a need as in kuna uh, kuna nini kuna there's a need to go na na physical shop yeah? mm. so ndo tuka source price ni tuka tafuta price ni tunaweka workshop mm-hmm. then tuka kuja kwa hivi mm-hmm. sasa ndo tuka fungua mm-hmm. workshop mm-hmm. na hiyo time ya covid the, the, by then tuko na for dia mm. so after kumaliza shule mm-hmm. Me, I'm not for that. So my plan was in Kimaliza Shule, mm-hmm. this guy named, mm-hmm. eh, and I'm placing in after job in Otago. Mm-hmm. Other my colleagues she's not for me. Ata yeye alikuwa Kimaliza Shule, maybe but for me I had a purpose in it. But after kukaka tuko na tumemaliza college. Unaona hakuna kitu unafanya before uendele. Mimi nimefanya business administration na accounting finance option. So niko na acha tunaendele na hii job. <laughs> Let me ask you a personal question. <laughs> Ile kitu ulisoma shule, mm. have you ever thought of maybe looking for a job? Sai hapa. <laughs> no no. no. Uh, unajua as much as notiki kuna as in for the young young people ya. Yeah? Mm. Tuna most of us tunataka kwenda college yeah? mm. so tumefanya bcom amefanya mm. tumeme actual science mm. and engineering mm. sana nataka atoke nje chuo mm. it anatafuta job specifically ya yeah? hiyo mm. field ya Kenya amesome you know mm-hmm. but ukiangalia in other field where they not take kai jo kali sector mm. una a lot of opportunity mm. lakini wasi most wasi vijana musa wataki mm. Na John said angle eh mimi siwezi fanya kazi ya mkono. Unaona? Na by the cash kwa hapo kwa kazi. Unajua kazi kwa hizi. Juu kwa hiyo hiyo job ya job. Maybe you naweza pata sasa maybe nikitafuta job ya kwa sababu nimesomea. Maybe nitapata job maybe startup sale yangu itakuwa maybe like that case. You have to it at the end of the month to pay that case ya. Huku una learn your own business as hata kama ni kwa kazi business ya. Na good day you can make that cash. Yes. Kuna siku mzuri utapata eh by the way nimepata hiyo job. Unaona? Set kila siku itakuwa hiyo but kuna day poor unaweza unaweza make that cash. Ama good week you can make that cash. Mm. But sasa most of us as much as tunaenda college ku ku we should no, tunafaa kuona idea ya but sasa tunaenda college kupata pesa. Unaenda knowledge. Unaenda college kupata the knowledge. Yeah? Mm. But si lazima work in your field unaona? Mm-hmm and a true mm-hmm. be equipped with mm-hmm. the knowledge and utazi mm-hmm. toka inji waso as make up papers kind of mm-hmm. aso kama sana na papers mm-hmm. yeah that's it mm-hmm. when they are say ah i also have a problem with young people na pia i think eh, mimi nimekuwa hapo although 
have had stories. Mm. Uh, young people mm. are relying on betting. Sana sana, mm. they are looking for instant solutions. Yeah. Oh, Nangali, even what I can see, Moja Niamke, maybe uh, Niamke Niweke workshop. Have you ever tried those things? Uh, before ni, me, Sikwa, Sikwa na bet sana, mm. but Kwana Fanya trading. Mm. For trading. Yeah, and after trading, no one was still in a bit. Mm. You know, still <laughs> in a ban person, no? Yes. You know, because the more you can get a trade, you can make a bit. Yeah. You know, you can get a bit. In some ways, if you are amateur, if you are a pro. Yes. Now, at first, you can get a bit of a bit. Before you can get a bit. So, you can say, hey, what are you doing? As in, you can work out with your customer. Let me try another way. So, I'm going to advise you. I don't know, maybe I want to bet in India, but still... It's not like a business. Yeah, it's not a business. It's not a business. It's not a business. It's not a business. It's not just so you can have a business, you can say I have this asset. Even if you shut down today, I have this asset that I can dispose. You see, for betting, as much as... It's not a tangible business. Yes. As in, it's not sustainable. Yes. So, when you have a job, you have a job. How many people have you been able to employ? Mm, so like uh, I have uh, have about four when you are permanent, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, it depends on the kind of work you have, yeah. Unas kuta pata kuna or so you need to source out. Unas kuna kuna ingia so unapata unas kuta kuna four, unas kuta pata kuna spot to see that. Hmm. Ibo ibo. Na depend on the kind of job you have. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. So where can people find you on social media? Oh, I'm not that active on social media. Yeah, yeah, I'm active on social media. Mm -hmm. So on Instagram, so mm -hmm. it's called Da Vinci Africa. Da Vinci? Yeah, uh, Da Vinci Africa mm -hmm. 254. Mm -hmm. I'm a pilot, Kenya 254. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that is uh, on Facebook, Instagram? No, we are just on Instagram. On oh, Instagram? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So I'm going to pin his location, uh, loc I mean uh, your Instagram mm -hmm. handle, up in the comment section. Uh, you go, go check his work. Uh, check what he's doing and for more information i'll also leave uh, his contact up in the description box and i hope you guys are getting inspired by this so these are young people who are in business uh, despite the fact that i'm different let me try business now right now he's doing good uh, i'm employing a few people and come uh, and the challenge of starting something probably at when you go now after you for jobs you Mm. So thank you very much for inspiring us with your story, uh, and I, uh, my prayer is that may God expand your work, may God bless the work of your hands. Thank you. And before we even close, I want to a camera a young man who is giving up, maybe he has a depression, he has a drugs, and he says that he job, the government is not giving enough opportunities for we young people. Mm. But uh, nataka wakani the kabila wambi ya watu kuna job ya youth kuna opportunities ama watu endele kuna mada kuna opportunities mo buku inde ni nazi zambia jana ni nache ki maybe kila mtu ana kwa nile idea yake kila mtu ana kwa nile idea yake ati mi nige kwa na don nige fanya stuff nige kwa i business nige fanya but kila nazi kwambi ya nache ki idea yako idea yako dio kapito ya as in you, you don't need any capital. Mm. Your idea is do the capital. Mm. Just work on that idea. Mm -hmm. Slowly, 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 you go and progress. Mm. Yeah, like that. So what do I have to do? I want to have to do. I want to do a lot of Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you very much for your time. Okay. To me, I'm going to take a job. I'm going to take a time. Yake. I do want to appreciate you for that. Yeah, so guys, thank you very much for your time. If you have watched and you have not subscribed, make sure that you help us grow this community. We want to reach out to so many young people. Uh, and thank you very much for keeping it Amara's family. And until we meet you in the next video, God bless you and bye-bye.